Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Tops Series 2 Baseball. Brand new release, just dropped today. Six box, pick your team two, it's jumbo edition. And at the end, we'll give away another invite to the Wax Party. All cards ship, a lot of great stuff here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. On Wednesday the 7th, hump day. John with that last spot mojo star next to his name. And here's the case right here. The Series 2 key rookies here. We're looking at Jordan Walker, Masataka Yoshida, Anthony Volpe, Francisco Alvarez, James Altman, Corbin Carroll. They're going to be our, our key rookies that we'll be, we'll be sleeving up and taking care of. All card ship as well. And... And give our uh, sorting and shipping team an extra an extra day or two on these breaks because they uh, they they take some time. They take some time to break. They take some time to to sort and ship as well. And away we go. We got a. Uh, this is my first break of the day. And Mookie Betts' first at bat of the day. Hit a homer. We got a little box topper here. And yeah, he's breaking some records. Got those extra silver packs. And so, what are we looking for here? One autograph and two relic cards in every uh, hobby jumbo box, in every jumbo. Right. We have some games. Is there, do we have a final already? That was an early game. We've got a couple finals. A couple games postponed. Those wildfires in Canada. Uh, has There's some crazy pictures from the East Coast. But have uh, have really dramatically impacted air quality. So they're like, we're not going to not gonna play baseball out here. So the White Sox at Yankees. Canceled, postponed. To I think they're going to make up the game tomorrow, according to MLB.com. Tigers at Phillies also postponed. So they're going to make that up tomorrow. Yeah, smoky and hazy. The pictures are crazy. How's it going, Tristan? Stay indoors. We've experienced that here in Los Angeles. We had a. Uh, although last year we were lucky, I think 2022 did not have as as many wildfires as we've had before. But but yeah, we had some wildfires where, you know, we'd find like we'd find ash, a light coating of ash on our on our cars. It's kind of crazy. We've got an Austin Nola and our first numbered card, 198 out of 300. That's Robinson Trevinos. That will go to Aaron and the O's. And Dodgers already up 2 nothing. Now, I know there's a number of players that we're trying to look out for. I'm sure I'm going to miss some of those players, but all cards ship, so as long as you see it, you'll get it. There's actually, 
I know we, I said earlier who are the key rookies. There's Corey Kluber and our first autograph, Joe Carter. Nice. Nice on card auto. Going to Toronto. That's Michael Gallucci with the Blue Jays. Five out of ten. Nice low number there, too. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end as well, as along with some of the other relics and whatever else we get. But like I said, Jordan Walker, Yoshida, Volpe, Francisco Alvarez, James Alvin, Corbin Carroll are the key figures that we're looking for. But there's actually a lot of great, there's actually a lot of great rookies in here that can make an impact, not only for their baseball team, but possibly the hobby. There's Jose Urquidy. There's Jose Trevino. That's to 2023. Oh, they gold, they, they, I think they foil stamp those numbers this year, which is pretty cool. Usually, it's just a, uh, just a regular stamp. Yeah, Joe Carter's autograph, real clean. Real nice. And once I get an idea of what each of those key player cards look like, I'll be able to spot those pretty easily. How do we like this design this year? I like, I like the face. Close up of the face in the corner, the logo in the background. Team text, team font a little small, but the name font looks pretty good this year. That was Taiwan Walker, not Jordan Walker. I feel like as soon as I flip these cards right side up, I'll be upside down again. There's Francisco Alvarez. And we've got a uh, Taryn uh, Vavra. And then we've got a Justin Verlander that is not numbered. Akil Badu, pretty solid player there. There's Connor Capel, rookie silver for the A's. There's our first Jordan. Well, Spencer Steer. I'm not sure what he's doing in the hobby, but he's he's hitting pretty well. That's going to go to the Reds. That'll go to Chris Parent. Jordan Walker, St. Louis. That's for E8. Got a little warm in here. Jake McCarthy, is he one? No, Corbin Carroll's another different diamond guy. That's not his rookie year. I think Jake McCarthy's rookie year last year, I guess. And we got Will Myers, gold. Not numbered. And Logan O'Hop. Oh, oh, hoppy, oh, hop. I was on his way to a really nice season. Had him on my fantasy team. Catcher for the Angels, but I think he's out for the season now some, with an injury. Christian Arroyo. And we've got a numbered Jake McCarthy to 2023. Dan with the Diamondbacks gets Jake the Snake. Do they call him that out there? Any Diamondbacks fans out there? 
And here's Corbin Carroll. There's his rookie card. He's pretty good. They, the Diamondbacks, I think, are a game ahead of the Dodgers in first place. So they, they've got a lot of uh, great youngsters out there that are finally... Uh, I feel like they're a little ahead of schedule, actually. There's J.P. Crawford, and there's our first relic, Paul Goldschmidt. Piece of his jersey. Is this going to go into a 55 top loader? Do we need something a little thicker? than No, it's going to slide perfectly into a 55. EA. It's in the game. Tristan says, I actually won an Adley Rushman card for one of those home run challenge cards this year. Waiting for it to ship, nice. And here is another relic. A little, uh, a little kind of lift, kind of, what's going on here? Kind of see the card pulling up a little bit on that corner, but. This goes into a 120, maybe? Yeah, there you go. Home run RBI leader, Ken Griffey Jr. Seattle Mariners edition. Commemorative patch. I think these are manufactured, but still cool looking. That's going to be for Marcy and the Mariners. We've got our first James Altman for Dante. And my Dodgers, who are up 2 nothing on the Red Legs in Cincinnati. We got Nestor Cortez. That looks pretty cool. Cool insert. Matt Smith and the Yankees. This guy has been stealing bags like no other. See how many steals he has this season. Sort by stolen base. Estuary Ruiz has 29 stolen bases. He's 29 stolen bases already? 29 stolen bases. Think about that. When's the last time you saw 29 stolen bases at this stage of the season? When's the last time we had a When's the last time we had a 100 steal guy in Major League Baseball? It's been a minute or two. Oh, that's Anthony Rizzo. We're looking for Volpe. There he is. Acuna already has 26 stolen bases. Wander has 21 stolen bases. Are we going to... We're gonna see some. Uh, we see some thirty thirty guys, maybe. Wow, Ellie Dela Cruz just crushed one, and now the game's tied up two two. Off of Noah Syndergaard, two run home run, his first one. It was the. Uh, Second to last, second to last row in right field or something like that. 458 feet. God. Do you guys see that? Do you, have the, you guys have the Dodger game on? Ellie De La Cruz just hit a 458-foot home run off Noah Syndergaard. Two-run shot. That's his first, his first homer of his career. Got Derek Jeter. Got two Yankees record breakers here.
What a shot. Two, two. Wait, did he just get hit by a pitch? Is Ellie eligible to win the uh, Starting in June? Yeah, I think so. I think he'd 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 be qualified, right? By the time, by the end of the season, if he stays out the entire way. Yeah. Imagine if he was on like the Yankees or something like that. The hobby would go nuts. Oh, that's a stolen base for Spencer Steer. That's good for my fantasy team. Four hundred and fifty. What? Four hundred fifty-eight feet. I think it was like. Right center, and it was like, like you you have the outfield wall. It's like the top row, one row of seats, yeah. and then it was like one in. It was like second to last row. I'm gonna go check the MLB Instagram. I bet it's already on there. Yeah, check it. Yeah, I mean, Noah Syndergaard. I don't know. He's, he should be released or maybe put into that. That David Price role, Oliver, where he comes in for for blowouts, blowouts only. But yeah, Dodgers kind of need starters. I don't know. Just keep bringing keep bringing youngsters up. See see who sticks. Uh, the only the only video that MLB has Kyle posted Schwarber. is Joe Burrow hitting a home run in batting practice at this mm. game right now. Jordan Walker. They'll show the replay. They're not going to show the replay. Who's that? Uh, oh, DeLuca. Yeah. 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 Bye, Mike. Joe, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I get forgotten here in the studio. Francisco Alvarez. Rowdy Tellez, and a redemption. All right, let's see who we got here. Congratulations to somebody. You are due to receive a 1988 Topps baseball autograph black parallel of... An S team, St. Louis team. That's Jordan Walker. Nice, EA Sports, it's in the game. You don't see the video for Pick Your Team. I think that's still processing. Yeah, I think uh, it's uploaded, but it's just taken some time to process. These are going to be hour-long videos, so you're going to have to be a little patient with those. We got Drew Waters, rookie silver. Jan Gomes to 2023. We got Red Staff talking to the kid who got the uh, Ellie Dela Cruz ball, negotiating. What's that worth, gang? Ellie Dela Cruz's first Major League home run, a 458 foot bomb. What are you asking for? They're Reds fans, they got Reds gear. The kids have Reds gear on.
We got JD Davis and to 76. We got Dane Dunning. 20 bucks. Yeah, you got to ask for the auto, an auto jersey, couple bats, tickets. John saying Votto game used bat, Ellie Otto. Miguel Vargas with a home run. Might be a high scoring game here. An auto ball for an autograph for the home run ball, yeah, that makes sense. I think that's reasonable. And I'm pretty sure at every ballpark there is a uh, like there's an MLB authenticator that's uh, that's there, so they'll get all that authenticated officially. Mike Moustakis and DeLuca's first at bat a fly out Francisco Alvarez for the Mets Miguel Vargas solo shot really? Mm -hmm. took the over on this game right? <laughs> no bets this week no bets this week the last roll of the stadium I went into isn't that crazy? No, no more bus rides for Ellie Dela Cruz in the minors. Does it really? John saying Joey Vado's bat has hospital tape on the grip. James Altman for the Dodgers. Dante, he's slumping a little bit. But once he makes the adjustments again, hopefully he'll be back on track. There's Bo Naylor. And we've got an Ichiro relic for the fish. Marlins edition. And that will go to Eric. I think Joe Vivado does some fun stuff with the bet. I feel like he was he the first guy to use like the the hockey puck knob, he had like a giant hockey puck style knob at the end of his bat. I think he did that maybe last year. I don't know if he's I don't know if he's still doing it, but this is Ezekiel Tovar, rookie gold, and twenty two out of two ninety nine Silver Slugger Award winner Nathaniel Lowe. And what's this? This is cool. Look at that. Heavy lumber. Fernando Tatis Jr. That's awesome. So the back of the card is just a normal card. And they've got this uh, thin layer of, uh, of wood on there. That's pretty awesome. Goes into a standard top loader. That's Steven with the pi uh, the Padres, that is. Yes. 
So another Yoshida for the Red Sox. Jeff with that one. All right, box two down. Silver pass. Can some of these be autographed? I don't know, maybe. Can some of the box hoppers be autographed? I don't know that either. Maybe. We got some more Tatis Jr. Record breakers. So we, we were going to go through the scoreboard until Ellie De La Cruz's 450-foot, 58-foot homer distracted me. Two games postponed. Tigers at Phillies, White Sox at Yankees. Crazy pictures out there from there. Padres beat the Mariners today 10-3. to A's beat the Pirates. Did they, did the A's beat the Pirates again? Did the A's beat the Pirates yesterday? 9-5. A's pounding out 17 hits. Those are the only two games in the books. Orioles at Brewers about to start. Mets Braves just started. Mets are up 1-0 already. Dodgers 3-2 only in the second. Red Sox up early 1-0 on the Guardians bottom of the second. Astros Blue Jays. Tied at zero. Diamondbacks up early, 3 0 in the third on the Nationals. Twins at Rays, Rays up 1 0 at the fourth. Marlins up 3 1 in the top of the seventh against the Royals. So that's your scoreboard update for now. Mitch Keller is having a nice season. I like these Aces cards here. Got a Brendan Donovan gold foil, Max Muncy to 2023 for the Dodgers, and another Francisco Alvarez for the Mets. That's for Tara and the Mets. Tara will get all those Francisco Alvarez. Maybe we'll find some other stuff, maybe some numbered cards of his, maybe an auto. Luke Voigt, Ty France, and Hunter Green, Major League Materials. Is that Ty France a uh, variation, do you think? I feel like all of them, they're in uniform, right? And he's, he's showing off the guns here. Seattle, that's for Marcy. I'll sleeve that. Oh, it is. That's a super short print. I was like, that looked different. Nice. Congrats. Sun's out, guns out. Dodgers are gonna have to work on that stolen base thing. Like a lot of a lot of, a lot of players stealing against the Dodgers. 
Felix Bautista, gold. And we've got a Silver Slug Award winner, another Nathaniel Lowe for the Rangers. Tristan. Goldschmidt, Christian Arroyo. Iglesias, and we got a rookie takeover. There you go, a couple Cubs to 199. That will go to Gregory. Wheeler and Miles Mastroboni. Rookie auto for Gregory and the Chicago Cubs. Nice. Got Garrett Mitchell to 2023 20, for the Brewers. Patrick. Bubba Thompson, rookie gold foil, Dansby Swanson. Jordan Walker, rookie card for EA. Some Marlin, some World Baseball Classic stuff. These will obviously go to the teams that they're that they're on now. All right, another box down. Silver packs. Another box. Record breakers, Bryce Harper.
could could Ronald Acuna Jr. He has 12 homers already and 26 stolen bases already. It's got to be a a 30-30 season for him. Could he do 40-40? This might be the year to do it if he wants to go 40-40. I don't know how many more seasons they're going to let him uh, keep running on the base pass at some point. That just slows down. All right, next box. We got two, so what we'll do with these cards, we'll go, actually te technically this is an Angels card. I think that's what the shipping team is going to go by. It's J.D. Davis, we got an all aces U Darvish with the uh, the uh, black border is usually purple, isn't it? I don't know if that's anything especial, but that'll go to the Padre, Stephen. There you go. That's good. That's good for the hobby. Jason is checking in, saying, "Are you talking Francisco Alvarez with a two-run shot?" That's good for the hobby. Michael Lorenzen, and your autograph is Michael Garcia for the Royals. Martin with Kansas City. Oh, Jordan Alvarez. Oh, that's good for the hobby too. Pretty Freeman hustling for the double. Got a Jake Berger, who's been hitting pretty well, and they're the Yankees to 2023. Oh, Will Smith two-run shot. Freddie didn't have to hustle for that double after all. There's an Anthony Volpe for Matt and the Yankees, and this is number to 2023. As well, Matt, 100 out of 2023. And we've got for the Orioles, D.L. Hall. That's going to go to Aaron. That is 37 out of 72. Speaking, here's your word on Alvarez right there. Speaking of. J.D. Martinez with a double. He's been hitting the ball pretty well for the Dodgers. He had a little IL stint, but then came back and just started raking.
Josh Young to 2023. I feel like he's having a solid season too. That's going to go to Tristan and the Rangers. Francisco Alvarez, another one for Tara and the Mets. There's the Babe, Babe Ruth. Got a CC Sabathia Major League material for the Yankees for Matt. Benson, rookie gold foil, and we've got another Ken Griffey Jr. This time to 299, Seattle. Marcy with the Mariners. It's that commemorative relic. I saw that. I think that actually is actually happened already, right? That was kind of a surprising bit of basketball news. Um, the Phoenix Suns have released Chris Paul. I guess they couldn't, I mean, he's got a huge contract, so I suppose they couldn't really work out a trade with him, with anybody. There's a James Altman, rookie silver, nice. That'll be for Dante and the Dodgers. He just needs, James just needs to get back to his hidden ways. Where's Chris Paul's landing spot going to be? The easy answer seems to be the Lakers, right? I don't know. That's, I think the Lakers should kind of stick with trying to stay younger. All right, two boxes to go. We're almost there. Maybe about another 20 minutes to go here. Got some record breakers, yeah, Big Mac, breaking records. Yeah, see, that, that's what I thought too. Lakers don't need a, another old guy. They need young guys. High motor, energetic, young guys. You can, Willingly play defense when they need to. I mean, they've already got, you know, guys like Anthony Davis and, and you know, let's face it, older LeBron James who seems to have some little bit of injury every year. Chris Paul's another one of those guys that just seems to get injured at inopportune times. I'm sure LeBron wants his buddy Chris Paul on the team though. I guess it'd be okay if Chris Paul was, you know, was a 
he's just not playing a lot of minutes. You know what I mean? If they can get him, I don't know what, I don't know what happens in in basketball. And get released? Is your entire contract guaranteed? I don't think so. Here is Daniel Barr. That has a more of a cardboard background there at a 99 instead of the, instead of the glossy. I guess I suppose I you know if you can get Chris Paul for for cheap you know and if he's not a key cog in that offense you know, I don't know if he's going to come off the bench but if he takes you know fewer minutes more of a secondary kind of role seems like another probably not like another coach on the floor anyway nice Marcus Simeon who's been hitting the ball really well Tristan with the Rangers Rangers team, even without Jacob DeGrom, starting to click. Well, yeah, maybe that would work. And maybe Chris Paul takes more of a secondary kind of role. action here. George Springer. We got Johnny Cueto. Marlins addition to 2023 for Eric. We've got a green Hunter Dozier to 499 for the Royals. Royals, that's Martin. Eric M with the Miami Marlins. Jordan Walker for EA and the Cardinals. Got a red team card there. We've got a orange, Carlos Perez, 282 out of 299 for the White Sox. That's going to go to EA in Chicago. Corbin Carroll for Dan. Rookie car. Let's see if we can find some parallels of those top guys. That's what we want to see. Gold foil, silvers, numbered cards, autos. There's Chris Bubich. Something. What is going on with the A's, Rex? Turns out there's still some major leaguers on that team. Guys like him who's leading the league in stolen bases. No, they've got they've got some pride. Saying, hey, we might not win every game, but we're gonna we're gonna battle. Mark Vientos. Got another Aces card, Hunter Green. A couple of Yoshidas.
Andrew Vaughn, and a Major League Material card, Alec Thomas. Dan with the Diamondbacks. There's Matt McLean with a triple against Syndergaard. This might be the last, the last uh, game for Cinder, last star for Syndergaard for a little bit. Joe Ryan, and we got an Ernie Banks home run RBI leader commemorative relic. And that'll be for the Cubbies. Greg, let's play two. Oh, there's Ellie De La Cruz's debut homer. Man, 458 feet. I think that reached the last row in the outfield. I wonder what I wonder what the kids got. There's some kids out in the stands, not kids, like teenagers out in the stands who uh, maybe kids in their early 20s who got the home run ball, and there were Reds representatives talking to them. I wonder what they got. It's on social media somewhere. Soto. Cruz, it's a double. Autograph? No, but a numbered card. Oh, triple? Wow. Here's Ozzy Albee, 62 out of 75 for the Braves. It'll be for Mallory. All right, and the sixth and final box. We made it. Ellie Deli Cruz in his first two at bats, a homer and a triple. It's Ryan Sandberg. I mean, I feel like he's got the two hardest bits of the cycle out of the way. Wow, and Spencer sent Steer bloops one. Bloops a single. Ellie Deli Cruz scores. 6-4 Dodgers. Red's cutting that deficit. Ellie Dela Cruz just a single and a double away from a cycle. He's got the hard ones out of the way. He's got the homer first, then the triple. Maybe a reverse in order. <laughs> reverse order cycle. Homer, triple, double, single. I'm sure stats and info, we gotta look up who is gonna who is the Who's the fastest to a cycle, I guess? Who's like the youngest player? Maybe how soon after your debut has someone hit a cycle? This is just Ellie Dela Cruz's second game. I would imagine that. I don't think anyone's debuted with a cycle, right? 
the second game cycle. Corbin Carroll. Alec Thomas, and we got Francisco Alvarez numbered to 300. Nice. Two twenty-seven out of three hundred, Francisco Alvarez. That'll be for Tara and the Mets. <laughs> there's gonna be some sort of Ellie plate in the outside of Dodge Stadium someday. The way this kid hits, John saying. Yohan Mankata and Max Castillo for the Royals. It's Martin with the Royals with our uh, sixth and final autograph. Let's see if we can find some numbered cards here. Wow. And Syndergaard just gave up a two run shot to Tyler Stevenson. That ties the game 6 6. I think Syndergaard's done, folks. I mean, you can't burn the bullpen this early. That's only the third inning. It's only the bottom of the third. There's 12 runs already. Bad day for the starters. Another Corbin Carroll rookie card for Dan. Is that right? If you hit one out of the stadium, you get a plate on the wall? It was Jake McCarthy to 2023. Last player to do it was Satis. Huh. I didn't realize that. Where, where did they display that? I gotta check. I gotta look for that next time I'm there. There's Austin Nola. We got rookie takeover for the Cubs to two ninety nine. Another James Altman. Team card. Ah, oh, it's in the location it went out. It's only done by six players. Piazza once, Stargell twice. It's in the shape of a home plate. Or you're, oh, you're saying it's the, the names are at home plate? I'm going to look that up. It's, I didn't realize I did that. That's kind of cool. There's Andrew Vaughn. 
the location it went out, I'm gonna put like a little plaque, home plate shaped plaque out there. The outfield seats, all right, all right. And we have a Yoshida, nice, gold foil. Gold border, Masataka Yoshida for Jeffrey and the Boston Red Sox. That's the kind of stuff we wanna see out of here. And that's the 2023 Jose Miranda. For the twins, that'll be for Lucas. Sean Manaya, and we've got a relic, Dansby Swanson. Major League material, piece of the lumber. Going to Greg, Gregory and the Cubbies. Rex has some trivia for us. Go for it, Rex. Let's. What do, what do you got for us today? Francisco Alvarez. Some more Cubs. And we got another commemorative patch for the Cubs. To two ninety nine. Let's play two. Ernie Banks, Gregory. How many players have hit? for the cycle a record three times? And who was the last to do it? The last to hit for a cycle or for the last person to hit for his third cycle? I feel like some random player has like multiple cycles. There's Jock Peterson and Tommy Henry to 490 and last to hit for his third. So who's the most recent player with three cycles under his belt. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even know where to start. Is it... Three cycles? Last year, someone hit a cycle and that was his third? It's not Josh Young. Autograph. Nice. From the Silver Pack, rookie auto, Josh Young. Rangers. Tristan with Texas. 247 out of 299. All right. That's the break, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before I do a recap, let's, uh, let's give away that wax party invite. So let's flip back to this list here. Let's gather everyone's names from one through 30. And let's randomize your names. Four and a four, eight the hard way. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
All right, so a lot of sad faces here. Saddest of all, Robert, very close, but just not quite. But I appreciate you trying. Two through 30, thank you very much. Appreciate you. But there can be only one winner, and this person's very happy. Gregory is very happy. There you go, Greg. Congrats to you. You are in the wax party. Check out the prize list on jazpiececasebreaks.com. It's pretty awesome. Trey Turner was the previous one to do it. Another hint, he's a great player, but has been struggling for a few years. But yet he hit a cycle last year. Are we going to get the answer before the video is out, Rex? Because I have no idea. Uh, Jason Hayward. That heavy lumber card is pretty... Each of that Jordan Walker, black parallel. And we started off with that Joe Carter. Five out of ten. All right. Thanks, everybody. Do we have a Christian Yelich? Christian Yelich hit for the cycle last year and was his third? Wow. That's pretty cool. I think he's actually hitting a little bit better in recent months, though. But, yeah, he has been struggling for a bit. Bellinger would have been a good guess, too. All right, gang. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescaserace.com, and that was 2023 Top Series 2 Baseball Jumbo 6-Box Case Break Pick Your Team 2. Um, we got more in the store, so check it out. jazbeescaserace.com. I'm Joe, and I'll baseball with you next time. Bye-bye.